There seems to be a lot of interest in how much it costs us to raise our two pigs this season. So that's what this video is going to be about today. So many of you know from our last video that our pigs went to the butcher last week. And we wanted to put a video together for you telling you how much it cost us to raise our two pigs here in New England. Now, of course, depending on where you live and a bunch of other circumstances, it may cost you less, it could cost you more, but uh, we're gonna break down what it, what it wound up being for us. All right. So keep in mind that this is for someone that has all of their infrastructure set up already, their fencing, their pig shelter, however it is that you're gonna raise them. But um, this is basically just our food cost and uh, the butcher, the smokehouse, things like that. Right. So the first thing we're gonna go over is how much our pigs weighed when we took them to the processor. Now I gotta put my glasses on for this because I can't see anything. All right, so pig number one, his live weight was 312 pounds or 120, uh, 142 kilograms. His hanging weight was 225 pounds or 102 kilograms. Now the hanging weight- Right, you wanna keep in mind that hanging weight includes the head um, but that doesn't include any of the insides, all the guts and things like that. Uh, it doesn't include any of that. Right. And then our take home meat for this pig was 135 pounds or 61 kilograms. All right. And then pig number two weighed, he was the fat boy of the group. He weighed 354 pounds. So that was a almost a 40, uh, 40 pound difference between the two pigs. Yeah, so. He went back for seconds for sure. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Um, 161 kilograms. And his hanging weight was 260 and 118 kilograms. And then our take home for him was 170 pounds of meat. Now, uh, we also got a separate total uh, that wasn't included in, in their take home weight for the sausage because when they prepare, uh, sausage, they're taking all the trimmings off of all of those cuts. So all of your, uh, whether it's, you know, the uh, ham, the shoulders, the chops, they're taking uh, pieces of fat, pieces of meat, and they're putting that into the sausage. So that was a separate amount of 60 pounds that we took home. Right. Okay. So a total uh, weight that we got home was 365 pounds. All right, a lot more than last year. Yeah. Uh, we definitely underestimated last year. Now we did a measuring technique uh, on the pigs, but I think we did yeah. it wrong or it's just not accurate, one or the other. <laughs> uh, but it was way off probably by almost 50 pounds. Right. Um, so we were kind of thinking our pigs were in the 250 range and they were really closer to 200. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. And then, you know, of course, after you butcher them, we got a lot less than that. So, right. but even with that um, amount of uh, pork, we still it still lasted us quite a while. Right. Uh, um, actually, almost over a year. Mm -hmm. And that's with giving away a lot of the pork to our neighbors and friends and family. Yeah. So this time around, we are going to be selling it at the farmers markets and things like that. So um, yeah, we, we definitely have a lot more to sell. Yes, we do. We do. So we did want to point out that we did not take the heads or the the organ meat. All right. Yeah, we just we just don't eat those things. Um, now, if we knew ahead of time that there were some customers that would want that, which you know, once we kind of establish a bigger customer base, mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be our first season selling uh, pork, so we don't we don't have that base yet. So. Uh, in the future, if we knew somebody would want certain things, we could keep that to the side. Uh, but like I said, for the amount of room that we have, um, we you know we have five freezers already, and they're pretty much full. Right. So uh, to keep all that extra meat, um, we just for something that we don't really eat, it would wasn't worth it to us. Right. So that would increase the poundage that we would have gotten back, which would have decreased the amount uh, per pound that we wind up with at the end. Right. So let's get to what it cost us to raise these two pigs. Now, uh, we do want to point out that we had them for 10 months. Right. We bought them when they were six weeks old, well, seven weeks old. And uh, our pigs that we had last year, we only had for eight months. And uh, that's, that's generally the time frame that they uh, suggest that they're big enough, you're going to get a decent amount of meat from at about eight months. So, uh, but we, unfortunately, <laughs> well, we did, it was really out of our hands. We, right. we didn't really want to do 10 months, but because the, um, the butchers in the area were so uh, yeah. booked, uh, we had to kind of push that back a little bit longer. So yeah, it was, it was the only thing that the only time that they could get us in. So we had to keep them for an extra two months. It was really a, uh, it was really 
seven extra weeks that we kept them really. So initially we paid $135 for each of the piglets. Yeah. Now these are Idaho pasture pigs, so keep that in mind. There are um, breeds that don't cost quite as much. These are heritage breed, mm -hmm. um, but they taste amazing. It's the best, for, for us anyway, it's the best pork we've ever had. Right. Um, so it is gonna be a little bit pricier for the heritage breeds, but um, like I said, we think it's worth it. Right. Uh, the butcher fee, and I'll break down what that came out to, but total uh, butcher fee was six hundred and twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. You want to go over? I don't have my glasses. Oh, you don't have my glasses. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so pig number one, uh, there was a slaughter fee of fifty dollars, and his hanging weight, like we said, was two hundred and sixty dollars, and there was a ninety-nine cent per pound for the processing fee for him. And then for pig number two, again, a $50 slaughtering fee, he was 225 pound hanging weight and 99 cents per pound for processing fee. In addition to that, the pork also had its own fees for the seasoning and the packaging because it was separate. Okay, so it doesn't matter how big the pig is, you're still gonna get charged the same amount uh, right. for, the, um, for the one fee, the 99 cents. The 99 cents, that's for the straight out fee. And then on top of that, if you're gonna get sausage, if you're gonna get, uh, ground up uh, pork, there's an additional charge for that, at least at our ba at our butcher, which I think is probably pretty standard anyway. Yeah. So we got some ground pork that was an additional 20, uh, 25 cents per pound. And then we got a uh, both uh, breakfast and sweet Italian sausage, which was 75 cents a pound. All right, which so far we've really enjoyed um, the seasoning that they, they've added. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we just opted to have some of the the pork, uh, the ground pork, uh, actually not seasoned at all. So this can, year, yeah, we this, didn't do that last year. Right. So, so we can just basically we can add that to a meatloaf or you know mm -hmm. whatever, whatever it is that we you know we can add our own seasonings. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And then uh, the smokehouse fee was ninety dollars for each of the pigs, so that was one hundred right. and eighty dollars. And how many pounds of smoked stuff did we get? It was uh, about about a hundred, right, or ninety. It was 90 pounds, All right. 90 pounds. And that was just bacon and um, ham. And some ham, right. We opted to do one of the pigs, we did ham slices or steaks and roasts for one of the pigs smoked and the other pig, we didn't do smoked. Right. So, so we had options. And we had to, you know, we had to wait a little bit longer for that, but actually it came back pretty quick. I mean, we had- It was the, only a couple of days. Yeah, a couple of days longer than the butcher, um, you know, took to, to get it back to us. Uh, the last cost was the feed, and that was the the largest cost for us. Um, we we roughly we figured it was about twenty five uh, hundred pounds of feed. Uh, they're fifty pound bags at sixteen dollars a piece, and that was about eight hundred dollars. Right. So yeah. Now you can offset that cost too if um, the more you feed them scraps. There's a lot of restaurants and areas that will, you know, if you go around and ask them for their scraps, they'll be able to do that for you. Um, or, you know, friends or family can do that. We, you know, we offset some of that with, with, um, uh, with our feed, but mm -hmm. it was actually really in addition to their feed. I, I yeah. don't think we ever, I can't recall ever substituting their, their feed, uh, for, no. for our, you know, it was you know. always extra. We always gave them yeah. extra, especially yeah. if the, the grandkids came over and they wanted to feed them, right. we gave them the scraps to take into them. Yeah. So the total cost for us came to one uh, one thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I I I probably fed them a little bit m <laughs> more than I should have. Um, actually, it, we kind of found out by accident the last few months that we were I was scooping up a, a um, using a certain scoop that we have, and I was thinking that it didn't weigh quite as much as it did. So we found out that I was giving them. I forget how much more. Yeah, they were getting at least a pound more of food a day. Yeah, so. For a while. <laughs> right, so, you know, uh, we, she had everything figured out, uh, how many bags exactly we needed to right up to the end. And right. because I was doing that, I ended up having to run out and get. Uh, three more bags. Like three more yeah. bags of food. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. what are you gonna do? Well, he felt like the pigs weren't getting enough yeah, to they eat, told so. me. They told me they weren't getting enough. <laughs> sure. All right, so given those numbers, um, if you take the amount of pounds of pork that we got back and the cost uh, to raise them, 
uh, we're looking at a five dollar and twelve cent per pound. Yeah, which is really good compared to. I yeah. mean, if you've been to the supermarket lately and seen uh, yeah. you've seen the prices of pork, especially for pasture raised, uh, you know, there's no way you're going to get anywhere near if, that. If you're even lucky to get pasture raised in, in a store somewhere. Right. If we just just sold the pork alone, I mean, uh, pork. If we <laughs> if we sold the bacon, just the bacon alone, right. we could get probably about a thousand dollars just for the bacon. Right. So I mean, it's definitely worth it. Just, you know, looking at all the figures mm -hmm. and how much it, you know. Now, of course, that's not including the time. Um, right. You know, uh, we did spend a little bit of money on the electricity for the heating of the barn. The, the barn cost this this um, last several months have been pretty high. The, right. the electric electricity for the barn has been higher than our house. <laughs> So, um, and that's, that was because we had to keep the water heater in their, um, in their water bucket on right. all the time. So it didn't freeze. Right. Yeah, that definitely made things a lot easier keeping that in there. Right. Um, I mean, yeah. mo most people would just go out and give them fresh water several times a day, but because we both work, we're not here all the time. Yeah. Plus you'll find out very quickly that pigs just Oh yeah. Have a tendency to flip everything over. So you can within two seconds of putting water in a bowl, right. they're gonna flip it over. And the same thing with their food. Yep. So uh, it was just the, you know, uh, we did a barrel uh, with the nipples on it. That seemed to really work well. But yeah, that that's uh that's pretty much the whole the whole breakdown of, of how much we spent. Uh, we're looking to do uh, to raise pigs hopefully this season, get a couple breeders. Uh, That'd not, be fun. Yeah, not have to rely on other people to you know buy the pigs from them so and yeah. then just be a resource to the community too to, right. for people who want to raise their own pork yeah it'd be nice to actually have a couple of pigs that we can kind of actually get attached to and I, <laughs> yeah you know, you know we and should, name them <laughs> yeah we, you know you, you feel bad you don't want to name them you don't want to get attached it's going to happen and i yeah. think it you know as i've said to many people you know you really sh if you if you don't feel bad after after you right. take him to the butcher, maybe you should start take a step back and you know uh, second you know yeah. evaluate evaluate yourself. <laughs> yourself a little bit you know so yeah. um, we yeah. tried to give them the best life they could you know they could have and yep. and, and, and treat bad, them well and one bad day right you know and that's yep. it yeah so except we we uh, we hope that this this video helps and and kind of breaks down you know gives you a little better better idea what you might be looking into if mm -hmm. you're thinking of getting into pigs. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yep. Yep. Pretty much straightforward video today. No, no uh, music. No nothing. No fancy editing. <laughs> he tried to do it in one shot. Yeah, but that lasted that, about, that, about two seconds. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. All right, have a good day. Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm a big dummy. I forgot to plug in my microphone yesterday, so we have to do this all over again. But you're my big dummy. <laughs> There's been a lot of interest in how much it costs us to raise our two pigs, and that's what this video is gonna be about today. We're gonna be breaking down everything. I mean, from the food cost, to um, how much the poop weighed. <laughs> what, you didn't? No, we're not. That was, that was your job. <laughs> We didn't keep track of how much there was. <laughs> that was supposed to be her job. <laughs> There's been a lot of people interested in how much it costs us to raise our pigs, so that's what this video is going to be about today, and we're going to do it in one take. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be fun. <laughs> and that's as far as we got. <laughs> we're going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Such a tinkle, Mary. Well, actually, we're going to. Well, we'll stop. Yeah. <laughs>